you know, right now I think the upcoming season we've got a lot of receivers that are going to make an impact. We've got a lot of young guys. We're very, very young. Um, it's kind of interesting. You know, we've got some veteran type guys and Tracy Moore and Charlie Moore and, you know, Josh Stewart's been around and Blake Jackson and all those guys. But there's really no middle ground. And, and we've got a lot of young guys that are coming behind them. And uh, we're counting on those guys stepping up and making some plays this year. And they're, they're very talented, let's put it that way. And, and uh, they're pushing those veterans for some time. And, and you're going to see those guys show up and make flashes, show some flashes this year when they take the field. Um, if you had to, it might be too That is a good one. Um, I can't really pick one. Okay, I'm not going to go there. Uh, but, you know, Brandon Shepard's shown a lot of things. Um, he's doing some good things, and, and he's on the right track right now. And, and he's one guy that could make a big splash for us. Another guy that's playing his tail off right now is David Glidden. And I think that's uh, in large part to the fact that, you know, he's, he's coming off some injuries. He's no longer hurt. And, uh, you know, he would have played last year for us a lot too, but he's always been kind of banged up, you know. And, this is a good opportunity for him to get out there and show what he can do because, you know, like I said, every time we throw him the football, he's catching it and running somewhere with it. So that's a good thing. How much has the competition with your position group helped? You have three or four groups of guys, one, two, three, yeah. third string guys that compete every single day to get better. How much does that help? Well, yeah, we're a solid three deep right now across the board, and, and uh, each guy is vying for that opportunity to get out there and play. And, and um, you know, like I said, those young guys are kind of in that position a little bit, and they're pushing for time every day, and the veterans can't take a day off. So it's a good thing. You know, Josh Stewart can't take a day off because David Glidden's right behind him just chomping at the bit to get that starting H position. You know, Charlie Moore can't take a day off because Brandon Shepard is absolutely gangbusters right now trying to go get the job. So it's been great for us. And, you know, the great thing about it is there's no animosity either. Charlie Moore is still helping Brandon Shepard. Um, you know, and I think uh, having our room meet together, inside, outside together, which is a change from how we did it last year, has really brought our, brought our unit together as a whole, and everybody's helping one another, which is a good thing. It's a great change. Does this offense help it, knowing that we're going to throw the ball a million times a game, everybody has a chance to get the ball? Does that help on a day-to-day -day that we go out there and battle every snap? That who knows who's going to play? That's right. You know, and... and uh, the motto around here is throw to win. You know, that's our guys talk about it all the time, throw to win. And uh, when we first started spring ball, we said, okay, hey, who's going to be the fifth wide out? Who's the fifth guy? We're all meeting together. So if, if you're that fifth wide receiver, whether you're going to be an inside receiver, outside receiver, really doesn't matter. If you understand where to play and how to play the position and you're the fifth guy, you're on the field. You may line up right now as an inside guy, but if somebody goes down outside and you're the fifth best receiver, you're on the field. So meeting together, having that competition, having the fact that we're going to throw the ball a ton has really created a lot of competition, a lot of uh, guys stepping up, raising their bar. What's the mindset on the characteristics of your wide receiver? I'd say I'd like to say ultra competitive, um, you know, because right now it's it's that way. You know, you, like you can't take a day off, you know, and that's been good. So um, I think everybody's going out and competing and putting in extra time, investing in the future, not only for themselves but for us. I think it's a very unselfish group. You know, you don't see any of the guys just out there for themselves or uh, not willing to coach and help younger guys. It's a very good balance right now. So I'd like to say the word's competitive.